on the new Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy eyeshadow palette and I opened it up and if you guys have seen pictures of this already you guys know it's absolutely gorgeous and perfect for this kind of autumnal time of year so I wanted to create a look for you guys. I didn't just want to do that kind of light to dark smoky eye that I kind of always do. I did want to do something a little bit different. I still wanted it to be wearable though and still kind of to my taste so I did this kind of all matte look and I used another one of Kylie's products. I used her Love Bite lipstick as a eyeliner to kind of complement the eyeshadows as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and get started. So to begin, we're going to start fresh face and we're going to moisturize our skin. This is the Garnier Moisture Bomb Moisturizer. I've been obsessed with this at the moment, but we are going to do our eyes first, but this just allows it time to sink into the skin. For eye primer, I'm just going to use the concealer that I plan to use on my face, which is the Morphe Concealer in the shade Sand. And I'm just buffing this all over my eyelid on a Morphe Gunmetal brush. I'm not 100% sure on which one, but then I'm just going ahead and setting that just with powder so our eyeshadows will blend a lot easier on our eyes. For eyeshadow today, we are using the Kylie Burgundy palette. I'm obsessed with this at the moment and I'm just taking this warm brown shade as our initial transition colour on a MAC 224 brush just to start off the smoky eye and it's going to go from light to dark as always in the crease but this is a, such a gorgeous colour. It's super warm and really it brings out kind of bluey green eyes. Then going for the slightly darker shade, I think this one is called Brick. I have named all the colours down below. Just on a slightly smaller fluffy brush I am just placing this in the crease as well just slightly lower where we place that original colour so the transition goes yeah like I said from light to dark then going back in with that 224 again, not with any excess product on the brush, but just to make sure that everything is really nicely blended together. For our lid colour, we are using this shade here on a flat brush. The matte shades are so, so, so pigmented. I was so impressed with the pigmentation when I used this. And yeah, just using this all over our lid because I wanted this to be an all matte smoky eye. Then I'm just going back in with that smaller fluffy brush again, just reversing each step like I do each time, just making sure everything is all blended together. I find this to be the most effective way to get that light to dark gradient the kind of most diffused and blended together as possible. Then I am taking this dark brown shade and just concentrating this on the outermost part of our eye just to add a bit of depth to the crease. Then again, going back in with our fluffy brushes to make sure it's all blended together and there is no harsh lines. Then I'm taking this balm pigment, it's called No Money No Honey, just for a really gorgeous champagne-y, shimmery, oh god, do I want to <laughs> describe that anymore, inner corner highlight. Then using a wipe, I am just going to clean up any of the mess that we made to create that winged out shape to give us a really good base for when we do our liquid liner. For liquid eyeliner, I am taking the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Love Bite. Super similar and complementary to the colours that we've used on our eyes and something a little bit different. You could obviously just use black or like a really dark brown. Either of those I think would look really pretty with this look. But I just thought this was a really nice colour for a liquid eyeliner. So just going ahead and applying it how I would normally apply like a gel liner. I used a small eyeliner brush with a little angle which made it super easier to get that sharp point. Then for lashes, these are from Velour. I will leave the name of them down below. And they're super winged out and fluffy and I thought they were super complimentary for this look. Going back to the skin, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer and mixing it with this new product from L'Oreal. It is their Liquid Glow in the shade Golden Glow. I've been obsessed with mixing liquid illuminators with my primer just because it gives me a, li a little bit more colour to my skin and it helps match my tan and gives me a really nice glow from within from when I apply it foundation on the top. And I've been really liking the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer at the moment. I've been just liking smoothing primers in general. I think it makes my foundation apply a lot easier. And the foundations I'm using today are two shades of the Georgia. Armani Luminous Silk Foundation 6.5 and 7 just because I think this gives me a much more natural colour 
they can range from kind of pinky to greeny undertones, so mixing them together gives me a really good color. Then using the same Morphe concealer that we used for our eye primer, like I said, this is in the shade Sand. I was kind of feeling quite a bright under eye, so this is quite a lot lighter than my natural skin tone. But obviously once you apply the rest of your other face products, it kind of cut balances out type thing. So I'm just using a damp beauty blender to blend that all into my skin. I then just set that in place with powder and did my eyebrows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and this brow pen. I've been loving using that at the moment. It gives it a bit more of a natural look. Then taking that darker shade from the Kylie Cosmetics palette, just running that along my lower lash line just because I kind of wanted this to be quite a dark, intense, matte, smoky eye. So I went for the darkest color that I used. You can use any of the warm matte colors. I think they look super, super pretty. And then I just applied bottom lash mascara. And this is the finished eyes. Back onto the skin, I'm using Benefit Hula Bronzer just to warm up the perimeters of my face and give a bit more definition to my cheeks and my jaw and all that good stuff. And then for blusher I'm taking this NYX Sweet Cheeks palette and this peachy shade which I'm obsessed with at the moment. This palette is so so pretty. If you can get your hands on it definitely do it. It's so good for traveling as well and the colors if you're like me and don't like a massive amount of blush they're really complimentary. And then for highlighter I thought I'd multi use the products that I've already used and I'm just taking some of that balm pigment on a multi brush and just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones and then my cupid's bow and the edge of my nose. Just all the places that I like to bring forward. For lips, I wanted to go for kind of like a burgundy toned nude, if that makes sense. You could totally use the Kylie Cosmetics Love Bite lipstick if you wanted that as well, but I thought the eyes were kind of dark and dramatic enough, so I went for a purpley nude, and this is Stripped Down Pencil from MAC, and then this is the liquid lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics in the color Skinny Dip. So this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.